mystery of waiting on God because it's actually really fascinating and I didn't even know about it myself until I started to put together this lesson. So I know most of us haven't heard a whole lot of teaching on the topic of waiting on God, but long ago, this was actually a regular practice um, that the Quakers used to engage in quite a bit. In fact, they used to have uh, they used to have what they referred to as waiting meetings, and they called it expectant waiting. So here, this is this is sort of, sort of how that worked. This is what that looked like. Literally, when the first person walked in the door, that's when worship would begin. There wasn't any small talk. There was no moving around. There was no mingling. Uh, the focus and the whole point of the meeting, it wasn't on catching up with one another. In fact, the whole idea was to come right in the door and immediately begin the process of becoming focused. And they were fully expecting to encounter God. That was their intent. So they made it a practice to engage in what they called centering down. And see, what they were doing was they were they were preparing themselves to engage with God. And, and the way that they were doing that is they were turning their complete attention, their complete awareness, and their full focus toward God himself. And their goal was to enter into the deepest level of stillness so that they could hear God without any distractions. And they were totally committed to doing that. They were serious. In fact, that's why their meeting rooms were so plain. They would meet in totally unadorned rooms. There was no pulpit. There were just benches facing one another. And the idea was to make themselves available to minister to one another under the unction of the Holy Spirit. And as the Lord led, they weren't coming in the door with this me, me, me mindset. Instead, they, they tried to be sensitive to any way that God may have wanted to specifically use them, perhaps to minister to someone else that showed up at that meeting. So here's what that process looked like. As soon as they walked in the door, they would quietly take their seats they would face one another and they faced one another because it was their understanding that they were equals in the sight of God. There, there were no prearranged sermons. There were no prearranged prayers or special readings. They just expectantly waited on God for his leading about how they were even going to proceed with the meeting. They didn't come in with the plan for what that meeting was going to look, look like. There was no pastor. In fact, they called them friends meetings. And the concept was to wait on God um, to bring someone in that room into a deeper flow of the spirit. And then whoever that happened to be that day, that person would stand up and that would be the person that would facilitate the meeting. There was no pre-planning and they literally called them unprogrammed meetings. The idea was and this, I love this part. The, the idea was that they were going to show up neither with a determination to speak or a determination to remain silent. They were simply going to be obedient to the unction of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit uh, was given full freedom to flow in their meetings. And that's how they waited on God.